Hello, hello, we got Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the topic of this video is called Men Shaming Other Men Over Women. And this is actually not a very popular topic here um, when it comes to uh, dating and relationships. You know, you hear about it every now and then, but you know, it is something that does happen and that has to be discussed so you understand what it looks like and also how to handle it. You know, so it's all very simple, um, but it is going to be a, uh, a great topic to get into. So let's get into it. <laughs> so first, you have the weak men, beta males, insecure men who like to shame or talk bad about um, strong alpha males, select men, you know, confident men who sleep with a lot of women, you know, in our society today, you know, you got to be married by 30 and got to be a one woman man. And if you're, you know, sleeping around with women, you're an addict, you're, you're a hoe, you're a slut, you're just a terrible person. And you even have some communities in cells and black pills who, who call guys who sleeping, sleep around with a lot of women, beta males, the irony. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's 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 looked bad upon by certain men to sleep with a lot of women. You you seem like you don't have control or and depend on, you know, your 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 reasoning behind it. Maybe you don't, but you know, they don't know. All they see is what they see, you know, and they they they, they don't appreciate it and they feel like, you know, you're uh you know, you're a terrible person for doing it. You know, so, and 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 that's something men got to get over. Obviously, a lot of that's out of jealousy because they're not able to get those women. So they talk bad about guys who do. And especially they talk bad about guys, not only to those guys' face, but to women who are interested in those guys. But they don't know it makes them look bad. It makes them look in, more insecure and more weak. You know, so, but hey. It is what it is, you know, so, but of course, obviously, if you have, you know, people around you, you know, those guys, you know, you, 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 they, 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 the ironic, obviously, those are going to be the guys who are going to gravitate towards you, you know, as a strong, confident man, you're not going to be going towards them, they're going to gravitate towards you, you know, so. Uh, when you have guys who are who are showing those jealousy, you get a lot of women, and you see them either me mugging or saying, "Oh well, they want to say, oh well, I got a better job or I got more money," and just kind of detract from you. You know, what I mean, you you know they're not very confident guys. You know, and, and of course you should not be bragging about the type of uh, how many women you sleep with. I mean, because it's not a competition, you know, but it's just not good when other guys want to talk bad about you for it. So, of course, then you have these guys who will also complain about how strong men treat women. And the ironic part is it's not about them treating them bad necessarily. You know, sometimes you will have guys who, who beat on women and who talk bad about women and constantly or cheat on women, but it's mainly about how men lead and how men get the submissiveness from women and how men are, or get women to do things for them. You know, that is really what it's all about because they, those weak and secure guys don't understand how to get that from women. So they get mad because they they look at those men as misogynistic or, oh, man, they're assholes. And, you know, and, and, and at the same time, those women complain to those men, to those weak men about those strong men. So they say, well, if I was in that position, I wouldn't treat you like that. I would never do you like that. You know, you're so special and pretty and you're. You're so, you're just like a, a diamond in the rough. So you deserve the best treatment. 
But those strong men don't see that those women like that. They treat them as they act and as they show they should be treated. You know? But most importantly, they have a game plan and a standard. And if those women don't fit that standard and don't go along with that game plan, they let them go. So those women fit those standards and they go along with the game plan. But the reason they do it is because they like those strong men. And because they like them, they want to be around them. They're going to do what they say. And of course, when they see their other girlfriends who are with these weak and secure guys and they're doing, they're buying them all these things, taking them all these places, they're going to compare and contrast. And therefore, they're going to complain about what they're not getting. But yet, they're going to stay with that strong, confident man. Because... He provides stability and he and gives them the ability to to be more feminine, you know, but those weak and secure guys don't get that. They're used to following women as opposed to these guys used to women following them. So, but, you know, next we have These insecure weak men are complaining and jealous of how these men treat the women. Well, again, I apologize. How women treat the men. Because as much as these women will complain about these strong, confident men, they don't leave them. They still are submissive to to them. They follow their lead. They do things for them. You know? And of course, these guys who, uh, these weak men who these women are vetting to the, or, or, or are venting to, they don't get it. It's like, how come you're doing all this stuff for these men, but yet you're complaining about them at the same time? <laughs> you know? So it's, it's, it's always ironic to them. They're complaining, but yet they stay with them. They do things for them. So they talk bad about these men, but yet they secretly want to be these men because they got these women that they love and adore. And on, on top of that, they got the women, but the women are loving and adoring them, those strong, confident men. And they're doing things for them, you know? And so they're like, what? How does this make any sense? That guy's an asshole. He, he treats you like shit. He's a miserable person. What would you be doing all this stuff for him for? You know, and they just don't understand the dynamics between the, the proper dynamics between men and women. You know, and they just get mad at it. You know, so it's always ironic how that happens. You know, it really is. It's always ironic because it's like they want women and men to be equal and they want hey if you treat me well i'll treat you well but they see how this strong confident man is he looks like he's treating her like shit but yet she's still around and even doing stuff for him so it completely blows their mind you know what i mean and they resent those strong confident men for that you know but finally we got here Oh, man. The reason men shame other men over women, they're overall jealous of these strong, confident men. These weak, insecure, beta males, non-select men, they are just jealous of these strong, confident, select alpha males. You know, because of everything. They get the, the, the women that they want, they get the treatment that they want, they get all the sex that they want, and they don't understand. Some of these men, sure, they were born with it and they just kind of grew up with it, but some of them, and most of them, developed it. And they don't understand what those men had to go through in order to get to where they are, those strong men. You know, so those weak men, they think it just got handed to them if they don't know them you know so again they're jealous and they 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 resent those men because they feel like oh they're just special and they they just happened for them they they didn't have to do anything they didn't have to do any work 
to get to where they were. But yet they don't know their story, you know, and they feel like they can't do it because they don't want to put the work in. You know, so it, it's, it's amazing how jealousy works and how it, uh, you know, it plays out in, 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 in relationships between men. You know, but obviously, like I was going to say, obviously, strong, confident, alpha men, select men, they're not going to put up with men who, who are constantly belittling them, talking bad about them uh, because of how they interact with women and the success they have with women. You know, um, that's uh, obviously a strong man and a confident man. You want to have people around you who help make your life better and easier. So you're just not going to put up with people who don't, especially uh, guys who aren't on your level, you know. Uh, so but that is definitely what you got to do. Let those guys go and let them find other weak men to hang out with and be around. You know, so that's all I got for y'all today. As for the reasons why uh, men shame other men about women. Um, but of course, um, if you enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. And uh, let me know what other video topics you'd like for me to discuss. And of course, if you find value uh, in doing so, please donate. I appreciate all donations. But until next week. Y'all be safe, and I will see you guys soon.